what I have in my hand here, this is the two most popular wireless microphone systems on the market right now. In this hand we have the DJI Mic 2 and in this hand we have the Rode Wireless Pro. And in this video we're going to compare the most important factor when it comes to these wireless microphone systems. And that is the audio quality. There are many other aspects of course, it's the menus, it's the form factors, it's everything else. But the most important thing when it comes to wireless microphone systems and microphone systems in general is the audio quality. Because when I've set these ones up and I've hidden them in a pocket somewhere, like this lavalier microphone that I have here and I have the recorder in my inner pocket, then it doesn't really matter how the form factor is. The exception from that is probably if you're going to mount it on a woman that is lightly dressed and you have limited places where to mount the wireless microphone system. But for everyone else, it doesn't really matter. But what does matter, that is the audio quality. And in this video, we're going to focus on comparing the audio quality from DJI Mic 2 and the Rode Wireless Pro. So now we're first gonna mount these systems. I'm gonna use them here outside. Let's start with a Rode Wireless Pro. I only have one here because I'm recording wirelessly towards my camera as we are hearing it right now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the internal recording instead. I'm gonna mount this dead cat. To mount the dead cat on the Rode Wireless Pro, we need to line up these little things with the dots here. And then we just try to fit it and then we try to twist it. This is a little bit annoying because sometimes it just doesn't really want to fit. Okay, there we got it. And now it's very well attached. And when we have that one attached, I can put it in here and I can close this lid and everything works. So that is great. So we're going to put that one here on my lapel. Let's put it right here because then we can put the DJI mic on the other side. So let's put this one to the side and then let's open up the DJI mic 2 case. So in here we have this little aluminum case. We open it up and then we're gonna make sure that everything starts up. And here we can see that we have 7.9 hours left on this one and we have zero hours left on that one. So if we take that one and we're gonna use it and we haven't paid attention to this, the internal recording will not start. And for me, this is a really bad thing that it doesn't overwrite the oldest recording. The Rode Wireless Pro, however, when the storage is full, and that storage is a lot bigger than the one on DJI Mic 2, well, then it's overwriting the oldest recordings. You will always have the latest recordings saved on the Rode Wireless Pro. On this one, we now need to go into the system and menu and try to erase the recordings, because if not, we can't record anything. So. Let's see how we do that. Let's put this one to the side. And I guess we need to take both of them up from the charging case. And we also need to take up the receiver from the charging case for that one to start up. So we can actually access the menu. Here we can also see that one of them is recording. The other one is not recording. If I try to record that one, it starts and then it stops because we don't have any storage left. So then to erase the internal recordings on this one, I need to swipe down. I need to go to the transmitter settings, go to storage, and then we swipe to the side to format the internal recording. Formatting complete. So now I need to confirm that formatting is complete, but I didn't need to confirm that I actually wanted to format. Okay, it's complete. Now we have 11.2 hours. The internal recording has not started, but if I go back to the home screen again, I can swipe up on the right one and I can start the internal recording. So now we have the internal recording going on both of these two microphone systems. So now it's time to put on the wind muff. The wind muffs on the DJI Mic 2, they are super easy to attach. I just plug them in like this and now they are attached. They actually go into the 3.5 millimeter hole here. And if you would like to know everything about the DJI Mic 2, then I recommend you to watch my complete beginner's guide, the complete beginner's tutorial of the DJI Mic 2. And I'm gonna link to that one in the description box below so you can watch that one later. Let's put on the other dead cat as well so we don't collect and record all these. We don't have much wind here today, but all this little breeze and when I'm going to walk later in this video, then we're going to record all of that and I don't want to have that to destroy my audio. So now with the wind cats put on, then we're going to turn on 
the noise cancelling feature. Well, no, it's actually not a noise cancelling feature. It's a noise reduction feature. Many call it a noise cancelling feature and I did that in my beginner's tutorial as well. They are meant to reduce the noise that is in the background, not cancel it completely out. So it's a noise reduction feature. And to turn that on, we can see here we have this. To turn that on, let's turn that on on this one. I just press the on and off button once. Now this one is flashing yellow greenish instead of just green. That means that the noise cancelling feature is turned on. So let's put that one on this side like that and then I'm gonna put this one well we hardly have any space left here and for the rest of this video we're only going to use the internal recordings on this DJI Mic 2 and a Rode Wireless Pro because when I feed the audio through my camera I'm not going to benefit from the 32-bit float internal recording and we would like to have that to get the best audio from these wireless microphone systems. And then up to the right here I'm going to write what audio system the audio is coming from. So first we're going to start record here in the forest because here it's pretty quiet. We only hear some birds and things so we can hear how the microphones are picking up the surrounding noises because sometimes we may like to have that we don't want to cancel things out I usually like to have the surrounding audio a little bit there are very few times when I actually would like to cancel that out I would like to have the surrounding to be quiet but I can get the room tone in there are some situations of course where I really would like to have the noise cancelling or noise reduction feature so that's why we're gonna try that out also so first let's just be quiet for a little while so we can hear how it sounds in these three systems I don't know what you could hear, but I could hear at least two different birds that I was giving me some noise, some squeaking noise. I don't know if you could hear that in both of these systems. So now let's continue our walk so we can see how things are working out. And I'm going to leave the audio on so you can hear how things are sounding whenever I do things. Okay, I've been walking about 20 minutes just to get here. And this is, by the way, one of the best water bottles I've ever had. This is a Camelback insulated one and it stores about one liter of liquid. And even about six, seven, eight hours later, my sparkling water is still cold. So I really love this one. It's not sponsored at all by Camelback or anyone else. I just really like this bottle. So if you would like to have a really good water bottle, I'm gonna drop a link to that one below. And actually, what I really like about this one is a big hole. So just unscrew it like this. But what's really good is that it's magnetic here, so it snaps here, so whenever I drink this lid doesn't fall in my face that it does on some other kind of bottles. I really like this one. I'm ready to go. I don't know if you can hear it, but if I listen really carefully, I can hear some traffic in the background. Can you hear it? So that is something that I'm picking up. So it's interesting to see if these microphones are picking that up or not. And can you hear the birds? So let's go closer to the traffic so you can see how the noise cancelling feature works on a DJI Mic 2 and how that compares to the Rode Wireless Pro that doesn't have any noise cancelling features. Do you hear this? Listen to the birds. That's so pretty. So if you like to record audio effects and things, let's see how it's picking up if I'm just playing with the snow a little bit. So here we have some snow. The birds are just so pretty. I hope you can hear it. Okay, let's go to the next place.
And to find my way back, I'm actually using the backtrack feature on my Apple Watch Ultra 2. And I have made a tutorial on that on my other channel. I'm going to link to that one as well because it's a super useful feature. So I know exactly how to get back to where I started because it's so many of these different tracks. So it's hard to know which one I actually took. But here I can see exactly where I walked whenever I got here where I am. So I can just trace myself back to where I came from. It's a beautiful day. I really didn't get to use my sunglasses. And the only thing I regret that I didn't brought was my ice bug shoes with studs built in. But that's how it is. So how does it sound when I'm walking and talking at the same time? Is there a difference? Please let me know in the comment box because I have no idea. Let's just walk a little bit again so we can hear the difference. Oh, did you hear that? It was kind of metal noise. Did you hear that from the background? Now I also would like to see how, how is it if I'm talking really, really quiet. Do you hear this good from all these microphones or is there a difference? How well this is picked up? And what if I talk really, really loud? Like this, now I'm talking super loud into these microphones. How is that? Like this, now I'm talking super loud into these microphones. How is that? Like this, now I'm talking super loud into these microphones. How is that? Okay, now it's time to go to traffic so we can see how well the noise cancelling feature works. <laughs> so this must be one of the ultimate tests. That is to see how well this microphone works whenever a train passes by here in full speed. Hopefully there will be a train passing by in full speed. I don't know. I saw one just when I pulled up here, but... It can't be the only one today, is it? So how much ambient noise do we pick up now? Do we hear the traffic in the background on all three microphones? Now we have a pain that is just leaving here from the platform. Do you hear that train at all or is it filtered away? Let's see how it sounds. I'm how well my voice is going in if I'm not talking too loud. Far from full speed, but at least it was a train. Let's see if we can get one in higher speed soon. I just would like to talk a little bit about audio and film and video. I mean, it was a long time since we went away from silent videos. How, how do you hear my voice now when this announcement is talking in the background? There is some train coming. So, as I said, I mean, it's a long time since we went away from silent videos, but radio, well, that is still around more than ever before. So it's pretty obvious that audio is more important than the video quality. So if you're going to put money into something, put it into good audio. Because video, well, that phone is good enough, but when it comes to audio, you need something that is picking up really good audio. So I should recommend to pay more attention to the audio quality than the form factors and menu setups and such because that is something that you do once i mean the menus you probably do once and the form factor if i mean you very seldom have it like this you maybe have a lavalier microphone or something instead but the audio quality how it sounds that is something you have to live with forever now we actually have some wind also let me put myself towards this side because that's when the wind is coming from so we can see how well the wind maps are working if we hear any difference Now we actually get a train coming here from the other side, but we honestly seem to be traveling extremely slow, so we won't get a full speed train from that one, that is for sure. Probably gonna stop here. We have some train noise at least. So um, let's go to traffic instead. I think we have more success there, but now we've tried a quiet train at least. And as you can see, all the trains here in Sweden where I'm right now, those are electrified. It's a big difference from Canada where I record maybe most of my videos. But most of the trains are going on diesel or some other kind of fuel. They don't have these cords in the sky at least. 
Let's go and see if we can listen to some traffic instead. So while we are here at the train station, I would like to test how well it works when we have a very, very echoey place to record in. Because this is annoying. This is so echoey. I don't know if any of these recordings will work if we were to record anything here. What do you think? Of course, we need to try to record in a car as well, where we just have the engine running in the background. We have some fan noise as well, and we can see how well this sounds. Now it's time to go where we can have a little bit of traffic in the background, because that is going to be really interesting. Okay, so before we go to the next place, I just would like to take a pause here at the hotel room and I would like to plug this lavalier microphone into the DJI Mic 2 to see if there is a difference when we are using the same microphone on the Rode Wireless Pro or the DJI Mic 2 or if there is a difference in how the internal recording is working. So now you hear the lavalier microphone from the Rode Wireless Pro and that is the one that is placed here. That is the lavalier microphone at the bottom. So now let's unplug this one. And now we're going to plug that one into, let's take the one that has, this is the non-noise cancelling one. Let's take out that furry and then let's plug in this lavalier microphone here. And now we can see how this sounds. Is there a difference? So is this the same audio quality that we have on the Rode Wireless Pro? Let's switch back again. So this is the Rode Wireless Pro. This is the DJI Mic 2 with the lav microphone. So this is the Rode Wireless Pro. And this is the lavalier microphone. So this is with the lavalier microphone plugged into Rode Wireless Pro. And this is the lavalier microphone when it's plugged into the DJI Mic 2. Now it's time to go to the next place. This is one of the most heavily traffic road I can find here. And I really feel that I need to talk a little bit louder for the audio to go into the microphones. Especially if I had to talk to someone that was standing next beside me here. This is how loud I probably had to talk for the audio to go to that person and to be understood and, and such. Whoa, it's almost scary when the truck is driving out like this. So how well is the microphones working here? Let me be quiet for a little while so we can see how well the noise cancelling feature works. And one thing that I noticed now when I'm filming here, I can see that the wind muffs of the DJI Mic 2, those are really noticeable. The one from the Rode Wireless Pro, well, that one is hardly noticeable. I can imagine that this is a situation where a news reporter, for example, has to be standing and recording something when you have all these noises around you. So what audio system has the best audio now when we've tried all these different scenarios? And let me try, I'm just gonna unplug the onboard recording on there camera as well so you can hear how that sounds. So this is the audio we get directly into the camera. So now you understand that it's really important to get a good audio system to record the audio that you deserve to have on your videos. Next thing we're gonna do that is to see each other in that video because that is the video YouTube recommend you to watch next. So uh, see you in that one and thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this one. Have a good one. Bye.